Okay guys, I just wanted to introduce you to WordPress Mew for some of you that might not be familiar with it. The name is actually pronounced WordPress MU, but I always call it after the cow and call it WordPress Mew. Some sites that you might have already seen running WordPress Mew are of course WordPress.com. And the difference between WordPress.com and WordPress.org and WordPress Mew is a couple of things. First of all, when you sign up with WordPress.com, you get to start a blog, and your blog is hosted on WordPress.com site. So if I signed up today under my name of Leanne King, I'd have a blog on WordPress.com site called Leanne King uh, dot WordPress dot com or at WordPress dot com. When we use WordPress org, we're using WordPress on our own self-hosted domains. So we're not at WordPress.com, it's our own domain. So I might put a WordPress blog on a domain called LeanneKing.com and that's my own WordPress org site. WordPress multi-user is the software um, or the WordPress program that actually runs WordPress.com and it's available for public use for people to use and it allows people to sign up and get a blog and to have multiple installations of WordPress running off the same domain. So as you imagine WordPress.com is a very big site so you do need to have um, a good server system in place if you're going to use um, but that's if you're using it for something like WordPress.com where you sign up and get a blog. You might want to run a very small niche social networking site with just a few hundred users and if that's the case then your current shared hosting server arrangements should be able to cope with that sort of load. If it's not then you still need to think about upgrading to a dedicated server because as you can imagine when you're running multiple blogs on the one site with multiple users then you're going to use up a lot of bandwidth and space. So let's have a look at some other WordPress multi-user sites. This one's quite famous, it's called Harvard Law Schools and what happens here is that students at Harvard Law can create a web blog and this is all powered by WordPress multi-user so students can sign up, they get their own blog and the home page um, shows what's happened in updated blogs, gives them ideas on themes that they can use and they can customise things, they can just sign into their account there. So they're running a law school students off there. An example that I really like is Get Shopped which is um, the same company that brought out um, the e-commerce WordPress plugin and this is their multi-user site which is actually sign up to build your own shopping site. So it's like a Yahoo store account really but it's built on multi-user and so customers can sign up and they can make their own blog um, that has shop components into it so and of course they're running that off their e-commerce plugin as well so you can have your own store which is on the WordPress multi-user platform with Get Shopped and they make it easy to set up they've got the payment opportunities and you can also get domain name mapping where you can actually have your own shop on a multi-user install like Get Shopped but still have the domain point to a domain that you actually own. So people would like this because they don't want to go to too much hassle installing websites etc. And it's all basically just um, there laid out for them that the system is already in place and it makes it easier. What I'd like you to think about is what sort of WordPress multi-user site that you could have. Would you like to have a site where people sign up and get a blog like WordPress.com or Harvard Law School? Or would you like a shop that's an e-commerce solution? And I'm not suggesting that you go with something like Get Shopped. But what I am saying to you is if you have a number of WordPress installs 
on the one site and for example say your domain is get shopped you could have electronics at get shopped you could have cosmetics at get shopped you could have TVs that get shopped and you could run off all of these lovely e-commerce sites off the one WordPress install and have all the updated blogs running through the front page of your site so that people can navigate easily to different categories of the site and of course by using the multi-user and putting the blogs or the separate sites on subdomains or in directories then you're also getting some SEO advantages about being able to name the blogs for example cheap electronics which certainly wouldn't be available as a .com but as a subdomain of your multi-user site you can add in whatever you want so you're getting some lovely SEO advantages there well that's enough of our introduction let's get to installing it